Billy, it's dinner time. Dad, I'm so close to finishing my game. You can finish it when you finish your dinner now. Come on. How was school today? It sucked as always. Dad? Grandpa! Hey, kiddo. Good to see you again. Could you give us a second so I could talk to your parents? Billy, go upstairs. No ifs or buts. Go. You know you're not supposed to be here. You know that I don't want to see you or be part of your business. I'm here to see my grandson. I haven't seen him since you three walked out on us. I miss him. All I want is an hour. Family is important to me. I try to keep you safe every year. Dad, for the last time, I left because of your decision. This gold mining business is something I did not want to be part of. I don't care if Evan is your favorite child now. What you said was harsh and cruel. As soon as you left, I realized calling you worthless was against what being a father stands for. Please, darling. You just want to see Billy. I want to see you too. Demi and your mother misses you as well. What about me? Oh, uh, yeah, and you, I guess. But Rachel, come on. Let's be sensible here. Dad, this is so typical of you. You can't even accept my husband. I am not having this conversation again. I'm just gonna leave you both to it. Look, I'll just leave. Clearly, I can't get to see Billy no matter what. Just let him know I tried. And when he is old enough, he can come and see me whenever he wants. Fire! Rachel, let's get out of here. Dad, my son and husband are inside still. It's too dangerous to go back inside. I won't let you. My family needs me. You need to go and get them. If you really care about us, you would save them. Help! Someone! Billy, Darko! Dad, please save them! Dad, no! Help them, not me! I'm not going back inside there. No chance. Billy, are you okay? Dad, yeah, I'm fine. There's a fire. What happened? I'm not sure. I was upstairs. We need to go. I'm scared. I'll keep you safe, son. Stay under this blanket. What about you? There's no room. You need to stay safe. I won't let anything happen to you. Darko, Billy. Ah! Ah! Oh, it burns. Help me! Dad! Uh, it burns! What? <laughs> what happened? It was Enzo. He distracted us and the fire went up. And he forced me out of the house so I couldn't save you both. Granddad, you left me to die? Billy. No, it wasn't like that. I... I... Get out of here, Dad. I never want to see you again. So, how do I even fix the whole filter spray thing? What even is a filter spray? I don't- you didn't even clarify. Rocky, what is it? Well, you see here, kid! I, I think I'm older than you. No. Anyway, you see here, kid, the filter spray is a satellite dish above the dome. Go have a look! Okay. Uh, oh! Oh, hey! Oh, hi! Okay. Uh, wow, what the- it looks- it doesn't look too good. Yeah, it doesn't work. I haven't used it in years. So basically, we need that fixed. We put the cure in there. 
Yay, presto, it shoots across the world, bada bing, bang, boom. Okay, so how do I fix the filter spray? Well, I have some spare parts in the shed, so why don't you take those and take them up to the filter spray and fix it up? Well, then, now what? I'm not a technician. I don't know all of these buttons. Okay, look, why don't I come with you? And Rocky, you just stay here and work on the cure. Okay, sounds... sounds like a good plan. All right, go, go accompany Gizzy. Yep, okay, cool, let's go. Tink, let's go and fix the filter spray. Wait, we have to go all the way up there. Yep, looks like it's a good old climb. Oh, Rocky, how do we even get up there? Outside of the dome, there's going to be some secret ladders into a tree. You can use that and climb all the way up. Wait, we have to climb? Uh, you know I'm afraid of heights, right? You don't kill, you're afraid of heights. Are you just going to be this damsel in distress character all the way throughout this? No! What? Look, I'm very smart, okay? I just don't do all this adventurous stuff. Every purge, I would always stay in and hide. And let me guess, you'd always read science books and have a PhD. Yeah, you knew this about me. We've worked together for a couple of months. That's right. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Bye, Rocky. Let's go to the shed. Let's get the parts. And I guess we have to leave through the door. And we will... Wait, what the hell? Oh, cute! Look at this! Oh, wow! I guess he really wants a relationship. Or maybe he wants his family back or something. I don't know. Yeah, Rocky. He seems pretty cool, but we've got a... Oh, we've got a mission. That's right. Are you excited to be on a mission outside of the White House for once, Tink? Absolutely. All right, let's let's go. I got the parts. I got it. it. Says parts. So I guess we just flick the lever at the door, and it will take us outside of it. Cause this lever wasn't on the other side. All right, let's try it. Whoa! Hey, okay, that worked. Yep, that totally worked. So we gotta find the ladder in the tree. I assume it's gonna be close to the field of spray. So let's go this way. Uh huh. We gotta be extra careful. Where'd you go? I'm right here. Okay. So there's... Alright, so... This is strong glass. Look, I'm punching it. Nothing is happening. That's crazy. Wow. But then again, you don't want to punch glass with your bare hands. That would leave a scar. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> you know, I ain't the smartest ones. I'm just good at saving the world a couple of times. Yeah, that's actually mighty impressive how you've saved the world, like, a few times. Well, what can I say? Actually, I kind of just did it once. Oh, here's the ladder. You know, I saved the president, no big deal. But I, I failed to blame because I couldn't save him this time. To blame? What are you talking about? That had nothing to do with you. It's Dexter. But Dexter's put a bouncy on my head. He's trying to kill me. Are you okay? Yep, I'm good. Just a little terrified. Well, it looks like there's a mark in all the way up. So just follow the mark in. And I do believe at this point we could just climb all the way up. Oh, here we go. You okay? I'm good. Just don't look down. Oh, God. Really high. It is. Well, okay. This is trippy standing on glass looking down. What if it breaks? Oh, no. We know. We know it's secure. We know it's good. It's safe. It's strong. It's strong like me. Uh, yeah. Sure. Hey, don't you judge me. All right. So, here we are. I got the parts. I guess I should just... Fill in the blanks, right? Oh, look at the techno part. The techie park? Techie park? <laughs> techie pot? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll mess around with these dials. You keep building that. Okay. Hey, Tink, why have we never actually had a chance to talk whilst we actually worked together in the White House? Well, I guess we just worked in different fields. You were a security guard and I was in science. I was mainly in the laboratory that the White House had. Yeah, but it sounded like you were barely there, though. Like, I don't really think that he would have too many parts or too many science stuff inside the White House. We had a small little section. It was, like, right below the security room. Oh, yeah, that's why I was mainly working. I do believe I think I got all of the... It looks like I got all of it. I think I fixed it. How's yours coming along? I can't seem to get it on just yet. But yeah, I definitely want to hang out more. Oh, yeah, uh, me too. Maybe after all of this hap it, it dies down, we can actually get to know each other. And instead of just working with each other, we can actually be friends. I'd like that. That would be really nice. I, I like your red glasses, by the way. Huh, I like your dreadlocks. What? These little things? You're just crazy. That, that's, that's silly. Wait, what if you flick this one? Oh, wait, no, not that one. What, what would happen? It's self-destruct. Nah, I'm just kidding. It won't work. 
Oh, <laughs> okay. Wait, does these things self-destruct? No, but they are very sensitive. If you can get just a couple of shots at them, then boom, dead. All right, so what advice? Don't shoot these things. All right, cool. All right, let me just test a few more things. And... Wait, oh, oh, I did it! It's working! Wait, what? <gasps> it's working! So all we now need to do is, I guess, insert the cure in here. And it will spray across the world, and everyone will no longer be crazy! That's exactly it! Right now we have to head back down to Rocky. Okay, maybe he's made the cure. He just has to test that they're crazy. I hope the others are finding that crazy okay. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't make them crazy. That was a terrible pun, or joke, or whatever it was. Sorry, let's go. The problem is we can't get close to one of them to bring it back to the dome. They travel in packs. This is hopeless. Well, looks like we're gonna have to sit here and wait it out. For one of them to come on their own. It shouldn't take too long. You're fired, by the way. What? What did I do? You keep putting Gizzy first before me. You keep disobeying orders to help him. First at the church you were gonna leave my post to join him. Then you wanted to stay at the dome with him and let me go out on the town to find a crazy. First, Jordan ended up dying, so me being there could have helped save him. Second, I was leaving you with Kor. And third, you can't fire me. Only Harold can. Well, first, you could have been killed too. Second, Kor hasn't managed to save anyone yet. How can he save me? Hey! And third, Harold is dead. I have next to power as his wife to fire people. You're fired. What is your problem with Gizzy anyways? Nothing. Lois is Gizzy's mother. Roxanne! What? You mean to tell me after all this time, ever since he met you on Cannibal Island a few months ago, you kept quiet? And after Ace's tape revealed his mother was alive, and she still didn't say anything. Roxanne! How long have you known for? Before we flew to the island to save all of you. She promised she was going to tell Gizzy. I will. Just at the right time. There's no such thing as the right time! You just have to do it! Ah! Kor? Kor? Kor! What's wrong? Ah, uh, I need to perch! Ah, Kor! Back off! He's crazy! What do we do? We can't kill him. He's one of us. Then I guess we just bring him in. You said it yourself. Wait it out. Use Kor as the crazy? What other choice do we have? Come on, girls! Just let me kill you! It'll be nice and quick, I promise! Stabby, stabby, and you're dead! <laughs> Back off, Core. I don't want to hurt you. You wouldn't hurt me. You like me too much. You let Bella die. I liked Bella. I don't like you. Ah! Oh! Beaten by a couple of girls. Okay, I guess we drag him back to the dome. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. Did you hear from the boss about the news? Yeah, Dexter is the new leader of the crazies. I just hope the crazies don't interfere with our workload. Not that news. Boss made a deal with Dexter to sell him more gold. Dexter uses gold as a signature. Now that he is the leader of the crazies, he wants more gold. We have jobs for life. So what did Boss do with the old competitors? The other gold miners? Him and a few goons are already on their way to wipe them out. Ah, <laughs> perfect. That means it's just a workload for us. No competitors. Dad, did you hear them? We have to go back and save Abigail and Demi. You're right. But I have a better idea. Darko is with them. He could protect the girls. What are you talking about? I thought you didn't like Darko. I don't. He's telling everyone I'm to blame for his scars. I did nothing but save Rachel that day. The fire was going to happen whether I was there or not. But he's strong. He loves our family and he loves Demi. He won't let anything happen to her. I trust him with Demi's life. So, what other plan did you have? Most of them are at our mine now. So why don't we take out the remaining competitors here? Dad, I'm a good sneak, but murder? I never purged once, I was always the protector. 
Well, you need to protect your family now, son. You need to kill these competitors before they kill you and your family. It's Apocalypse. They ain't afraid to kill. We wipe out these guys and we take over this mine. Dexter will be forced to work with us and we'll have business with him forever. Actually, if the cure works, it's a 100% chance of curing it. But there's kind of an 80% chance it'll actually just kill you outright. Um... So, it's a, it's a good thing we're using just a random crazy guy, cause, uh, yeah, definitely need some fine work. Huh, let us in, let us in! Roxanne? Oh, they're back! Alright, let's, let's go get them. Roxanne, Lois, Core, you got a crazy? Wait, what the? Yeah, there's a big problem. Core is the crazy. What the? His trigger inside him because he used to purge, he, it, it, it must have took over him. What, my brother? We can't use this gear on my brother! There's no way! I won't let it happen! Well, either way, we have to let them in. You're right. Alright. Alright, Rocky, go let them in. Come on in, guys. Quick. Drag them in. Yeah, take them into the laboratory. Rocky, what are we gonna do? Just let me board this door up real quick. Yeah, then just turn it on. Oop, there you go. Alright, so, we'll meet you in the laboratory. Rocky, what are we going to do? Are we going to use this cure on Core? He is a crazy after all. But guys, I don't want to use it on my brother! What if it goes wrong? What if it doesn't work and then he has an 80% chance of just dying? Did you use a poison or something? What did you use? It requires a whole bunch of plants. And we need a specific ingredient that can counter the craziness from triggering. Again, there's an 80% chance this might kill Core. And did I mention I don't want to do this? Uh, on the bed. On the bed over here, we'll tie him down, because he's, you know, kind of crazy. Did you both just knock him out or something? Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty tough. Okay, so just hop on the bed, let me help. Ugh, just put him on the bed. Uh, uh. There we go. That's how I sleep. <laughs> Alright, tie him down. Do you have any rope? Um, in my house. Tink, go, go get them. Okay, so... What do we do? What do we do? So we use the cure? Well, yeah, we just use the cure. Easy peasy, right? No, Roxanne, not not easy. Uh, this cure might not work, and if it doesn't work, then Core has a 20% chance of just dropping dead randomly. So we hope for it to work, and if it doesn't work, then he could just die. Yep, that's... Huh. So you're good, right? You, this is good? All right, fine, we'll use the cure. Uh, this is why I didn't want Core to start purging. None of this crazy stuff would be happening, and I wouldn't be trying to heal him with a cure that could possibly kill him. I mean, millions of people around the world purge. You can't just hate on Rocky, uh, I'm sorry, on Core, before being one of those millions of people. I got some rope. Okay, uh, yeah, bring me the rope. I'll, I'll tie it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, it's, I got it. Alright, tie it down. Alright, there you go. So, Core's not going anywhere. So, do you want to use the potion on him? Alright, everybody, stand back. Everybody get back. Everybody back. Blow us back. And injected. Okay. So, now we wait. How long does it take? It could take a couple of minutes to a couple of hours. If it takes at least a day, then it didn't work. So, we used to have a couple of hours of waiting around, I guess. Pretty much. So, <laughs> anybody want to play charades? Oh, actually, yeah, I actually do want to play shots. Yeah, charades will be fun, actually, whilst we have time to kill. You know, there's a bunch of crazies going on, but whatever. Dad, why are we in here? Shh. To see if they have any more guns. Or ammo. Or dynamite. Hey, what the? Okay, that would have brought some attention. We'll need to block off the mines. Leave the competitors trapped down here, and they'll starve to death. Then we'll use more dynamite to blow it open again. They have pickaxes. Can't they just dig out? Did you see them carrying any pickaxes? They weren't in the mines to mine.
they were doing a security watch as most of the miners went to our home. They'll be trapped. Plug your ears, boy. We did it! Now, son, we play the waiting game. As we wait for them to starve, let's go home and save our family. Good idea. How can you pressure Darko into telling that story? I said no! I didn't pressure him, he told me! Billy, go upstairs. No ifs or buts. Go! Billy? What? No, I said Demi. Go upstairs. No ifs or buts. Go! I think I just got some deja vu. Why do I have the feeling something bad is about to happen? Because something bad happens to you all the time. I've lived a great life until these last couple of years. Your son has been killed. You've been haunted, attacked, brainwashed, arrested, corrupted, burned, served a god, and also had your own wife try to kill you. How's life working out? Okay. Maybe life could be better. Wait a second. How do you know all that? Rachel trying to kill me happened today. Oops, I said too much. You know where Rachel is. You spoke to her today. Yes, I spoke to Rachel. She told me where she is. She isn't coming here. Where is she, Abigail? Where's Rachel? Don't quote the Dark Knight to me. I can't tell you. I promised my daughter I would keep her safe. What's happening? Are, are those crazies? No, they're our competitors! I guess with all the apocalypse they wanted to clear out the com competition? If we survive this, I'll tell you where Rachel is. But you have to make a promise. Uh, anything! Demi doesn't die! Deal. Abigail, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. More than fine. <laughs> I feel great. I haven't done that in years. Let's go check on Demi. Baby, where are you? Demi, where are you? Must have been more competitors. They they could have taken her. She would never just run off like that. What do we do now? You made a promise, Darko. Demi doesn't die. Help me find her alive, and I'll tell you where your wife is. That's Enzo and Evan. How am I supposed to tell Enzo his daughter has been kidnapped? 